Oh my god, Daddy's home! Yay! Hey kids, I'm really sorry, but it didn't go very well at the store today and I didn't have any money to buy food. Oh no, what shall we do? We're going to starve. Well, you're in luck, kids, because while I didn't buy any food, I did buy a subscription to the Crinks TV Patreon. So, at least while we starve to death, we can be entertained. Yay! Yay! What the fuck? Subscribe to the Crinks TV Patreon for an archive of fantastic older playthroughs, lots of non-new content, early access to videos, and the ability to vote on our amazing long plays. Shout out to our Patreon supporter, Reaper, for the continued support. Thank you so much, Reaper. I hope you're not starving to death. And Alice, our producer, as always, you are a super numpkin. Her link's on screen right now, go follow her. Hi there, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. That's part of the intro. I, I don't know. know why this is. I, 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 so I know. I know. I know. I just. I just... <laughs> Hi there, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day, except when it's not. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Minx, and I'm Quizum. And today we are playing There Swings a Skull. It's an RPG maker horror game. Some of you have suggested it in the Discord, which is fantastic. So let's check out these content warnings before we begin. Okay. Okay. Climate apocalypse, immolation, dehydration, smoking, and hanging. Lovely. My biggest trigger is a climate apocalypse. Yeah, mine too. I once dreamt. I threw my hat into Dolores Petunias and got on the 640 train and rode inland. Past fields of brown wheat and begonias and ambling sheep and jagged rocks and the blue of the ocean, which I have never seen. But that was then, and this is now. I don't dream no more. Well, that's a bit depressing. Okay. There swings a skull. Well, I guess we know what uh, the skull is swinging. <clears throat> it doesn't look like a skull, it's like a whole body, actually. Well, I mean, there's a skull attached to it. <laughs> that's true. Well, I guess global warming's got really bad in this world. I guess <laughs> so. Oh, awake at last, I see. Goodness, if you hadn't been dragging your tuchus out of bed these tuckus. past few- Tuckus. Tuckus? What is that? It's a butt. I never heard of that before. <laughs> your tuckus out of bed these past few weeks. I must not be working you hard enough before bed. You better not be going back to sleep. I'm awake. Bad dream. Something like that. Well, get some oats and honey tea in you. You always feel better after you've eaten. Yeah. Yeah, I will. How's the week forecast? Well, okay. Mute him. Like you even needed to ask. <laughs> what? <laughs> my oh my, aren't you looking strapping? You always say that. It's always true. Yeah, yeah. And don't think I haven't noticed you're trying to sweet talk me. Think I forget you're late for work? Not yet, but yes. Not worth chancing. Bye, hun. I'll be back at the usual time. Have a good day at work. Oh, so these two are a couple. Okay. Yep, it's a gay older couple. Unless that's a lady with severe balding, which, you know, could be a thing, but I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not. Don't look too close. Oh, yeah, someone just died in the street, didn't they? Oh, yeah. What's her name, sorry? Anatoly. Yeah. And we're age 48. Anatoly, yeah. We certainly look old. 
We're having a nice little stroll, baby. Nothing bad's gonna happen. We're not gonna spontaneously burst into flames. Well, I mean, if that's a real risk, why are people going outside? I don't know. Something to do. That doesn't seem like a good plan. I mean, people still went out during COVID, so... <laughs> yeah, I know, but there was a significant... If, if, that's a bit different. PSA. Citizens of Perelis, Perelidus are asked not to look at the sun. It is easily angered. Oh. Okay. So, she looked at it and it bitch slapped her then. So, I guess it's not global warming, it's just the sun being angry? Angry sun god? There's a lot of dead people around. A very angry sun god. <laughs> Maybe it's teaching us a lesson. in this world, instead of going blind by looking at the sun, you just instantly burn into flames. Oop. <clears throat> Can you be this lady for a minute? For a minute? Well, the whole thing. <laughs> but I'd actually show up again. <sighs> Why, hello, handsome. Here to take me in your big, strong arm, sweep you off my feet, elope with me? My husband would probably take issue with that. Oh, stop. You're so bad. Just tell me you aren't interested. No need to dance around the issue. I'm not interested. Gay. Oh, I cannot believe you. Never in all my years have I had such brisk treatment. You really should stop tugging at my heartstrings, though, if you're just going to drop me like yesterday's hyacinths. I can't help my raw sex appeal. Fancy a sig? Sure. It's a bright one out, isn't it? It is, like it was yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before that. Certainly no shame, neither of you, for me. Wait. Certainly no shame, neither for you, nor me, nor my plants. They're doing quite well. Well? Seems so. Got a light? Just stick your cigarette out into the sunlight. It's hot enough to light on its own. That's horrific. Hey. Yes, my charming suitor? Take the cigarette back. If you insist. More for me. I'm going to stop smoking. Oh? A woman burned to death outside my apartment today. That nasty business. Never her- Wait. God damn it, I hate it when you ask me to read. Na that nasty business. I've heard about it happening hither and thither. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? One day, you're going to come back, you ocean-bearing carriage of salt and silk. I guess the ocean's dried up completely. Yeah. One day, you're going to come back, and Pyotr and I will leave this place, and we won't turn our heads to look at the parrot... I can't say that word. Shrinks. To an off orange speck in the distant yellow sands. So what was his job? I, I don't know what this is. <clears throat> it looks like tickets. Yeah, I guess so. I guess Train tickets, sells... maybe? Yeah. Or bus. One day soon, I swear it. Well, thank you for that, talking sign man. Stop being fucking weird. Let's just head home, okay? What could go wrong, baby? I mean, everything. But it's probably safer at night than it is during the day. Uh, I would 100% agree with that uh, assessment, actually. Yes. I'm surprised that people don't live at night in this world. That would make a lot more sense. It would. <laughs> like, in fact, I would suspect that would happen if this situation occurred. We'd reverse our sleep cycles. No, but then we had people like you who go to pieces at the thought of doing anything at night. What is this? Well, I mean, I know what it is, because we saw well, the thing. it's a newt. We are. I am. I have rescinded the earlier PSA. Cut it from your mind with a sharp blade. And this again? Look at the sun. The source of all life. Our life. Without it, Pirellidas would wither as an asphodel in winter. No prosperity. Only suffering. Suffering as the one who authorized the earlier PSA now suffers. Hot words from a man in the cold ground.
Maybe I'll listen when you show your goddamn face. I guess the, the leaders are all hiding in, like, the ground. Yep. Well, they sound like bumpkins to me. I like this so far, by the way. Hmm. It's a shame I can't run, but, you know. I mean, you are an old man. That is true. Is there saving in this? I couldn't see any. Uh, I'd say maybe open up the menu if it's not an RPG Maker game. Pockets? Oh, no, it's just inventory and start anew is not going to be it, so. Alright, so then no, I guess not. It's it's not a very long game, so. No one moved the body? <laughs> no, it's just there. Like, if, I guess we're living in this, this dystopian, you know what I mean? Mm hmm Although, we obviously have put bodies in coffins at some point. Honey, you're home. Have a good day at work. Busy, as usual. I feel like that's a lie. Hmm. My husband cracking jokes? Are you sick? Just lighten the mood. The mood's plenty light now that you're home. Well, they kissed. Get much painting done today? No, no. Had some trouble getting the creative blood flowing of late. Too hot. Too fe. Too what? Never mind, dear. Did you see anyone we know on the walk home? No, though I did get an unpleasant surprise. The mayor's piping up again. What? The speaker gallows chirped at me on the way back from the station. Oh. Oh no. Don't worry. Sure the old bastard is just getting antsy. I would too if I lived in a Piper Mall underground. Yes. I'm sure it's nothing. Hey, come on now. I wasn't trying to upset you. Look. It's hardly been a month since he took Amory. I don't think he's looking for anyone new. I shouldn't have said anything. Let's just go to bed. It's getting late. Yeah, I guess it is. Something bad's gonna happen, clearly. I guess Emery is someone they knew? Yep. Yeah. I don't dream no more. Jesus Christ. Awake at last, I see. Morning, hun. Sleep well enough? Eventually, I had some trouble getting there. Seems we're a little too in sync. I took forever to fall asleep last night, too. I guess we are. Hope today's work is more fruitful for you than me. I'm not sure I do. And Anatoly, there's something I'm... I'll mute him. Mute <laughs> Everything alright? Honey, you've been working at the Terminus for a long time now. I can't recall exactly how long, but I do know you've never taken a break. Nope. Maybe today you... Have you thought about not going? Uh... Just for a day? Of course I've thought about it. Everyone thinks about it from time to time. But I can't do it. Someone would notice. Dolores? Someone more than Dolores. Call it a feeling. Besides, they pay well. Why repent when the devil gives good benefits? <sighs> yes, of course. I'm sorry. I was just being ridiculous. You're sure everything is alright? You worry too much, dear. Can't you allow an artist the occasional flight of fancy? <sighs> Guess I can. See you later tonight, hun. Love you. Love you too. They are going to be dead when we get back. Yeah, something, something sussy is going on at the minute. Something very sussy. They're sleeping, Bubby. I'm pretty sure they're, they're just sleeping. sleeping. <clears throat> I don't think they're sleeping. I think they're dead. I like the uh, the music when you walk around the town. Actually, it's very appropriate. Like it has like this kind of quirky unsettlingness to it. I guess that's a good way to describe it. Oh well, that wasn't there yesterday. Um, what happened just then? Did the ashes fall on us? I guess. Has our facial expression changed? It does kind of look like it. 
I mean, I guess I would be horrified too if a corpse body just disintegrated on top of me. Uh, someone else died there, look. Yeah. Well, this place is really fucking morbid. Yep. Here's Dolores, aka you. <laughs> God, it's so cringy to voice this person. Why, hello, handsome. Here to whisk me away from this two bit town at last, I see. I've packed a suitcase, just give me the word. I lost my husband if he says I can elope with you. I'll let you know. Oh, please. You're not interested, are you? You shouldn't have tugged at my heart soon, though. I can't help my. Oh, I cannot believe you. Never in all my years have I had such brisk treatment. You really should stop leading girl on if you're just going to toss her like the weekend's daffodil. That's almost exactly the same, but slightly different. Hey, do Fancy a sig? I'm alright, Dolores. You're energetic today, huh? Don't blame me. Blame the sun. Not particularly... Wait. I skipped over You went too fast, baby. I went... I, I did, but I feel like she's fast. I feel like she's going a mile a minute here. Don't blame me, blame the sun. Not only am I feeling particularly excitable, but my plants are clambering up the walls. I fear it may not be long before I do the same. You'll break a hip. Come off it, I'm as spry as I was in my teen years. Maybe spryer. Right, so did you see anything odd on the way here? Like a born corpse? Yeah, actually. Nope. Or if I did, I've made a comfortable effort to forget. See, that's why she's going a mile a minute. Honey, I don't know if you know it, but I run a smoke shop out of a train station. I don't affect- I can't affect much. Well, I suppose not, but... And there's no point in getting hung up on things that'll just upset me. Things I can't control. Life's short enough as it is without worrying that the air is unfit to breathe or the sun will bake me alive. But... Why do you smell like ash? I... what? Ash, I'm holding a lit cigarette and you li and you reek about a dozen times as bad. It's nothing. You decide to smart smoky again by the fucking carton full? It's nothing, I said. Look, I've got to get to my post. Sure, dear. We can chat more tomorrow. The sun is a red-orange blot in the sky. It's bigger than it was yesterday, I'm certain. I'm losing it. All the sun is closing in on the planet. I would say that's... If it's angry, maybe it is, you know what I mean? Maybe. Like, there's Jaws music playing, it's getting closer and closer. I mean, it's not the most ridiculous thing. If you live in a world where you're looking at the sun, it'll bitch slap you with fire. I mean, I never said it was ridiculous. They're just sleeping, Papa, don't worry. Just sleeping. Nothing bad. Just asleep. I don't know if I believe you if it's nothing bad. There's a hatch there, I just realized. Yeah, that's probably how they went down. I'm glad you're silent. I'm glad. But if that's so, then why do I feel so... Just post-work nerves. Relax, Anatoly. Nothing's the matter. Oh, something fucking awful's about to happen. His husband's going to be taken, I think. Mm. I have a real sense of dread right now, Bubby. <laughs> Look, we're just going home. It's fine. Go home to our apartment. To a lovely husband, and everything will be fine. Hi, hon. Okay, well, he's alive. All quiet on the home front? I'll check out the downstairs neighbours, which I, of course, prefer not to. Good. Well, not the downstairs neighbours. My work was quiet, too. Perhaps that's the for the best, hmm? You know, this morning I had the strangest feeling, as if the whole world was coming to an end. Do you still? It's hard to look out on the silent streets of Parrot Perelidus, and imagine much lurking around the corners. Perhaps a few stray cats? If this is your way of guilting me into getting you a kitten, it's not going to work. I'll wear you down yet. I'm sure. And as for your concern, 
The town's been around for hundreds of years. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. But we are. What do you mean? Just kidding. Just a little joke. Mmm. Now it's awfully late. Let's go to bed? Alright, hun. Bed it is. The flames come licking across the fields of blackened flesh. Deep below, a man sits in the only place of call, gifted a slow, peaceful death while the rest of us burn like matches. Who is to blame? Us? Him? Or something more? Well, this sounds numb. And by that I mean bum. Piotr, were you talking in your sleep last night? Piotr? I think it's grocery day, maybe he left me a note? Oh, this is really fucking bad. Okay. Okay. It's a sketchbook, I get it. Don't go, darling. Oh, Papa Nomkin. They say it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Here comes the sun. God is here. I can't read what that says. It says, be glad, Piotr. Be glad, Piotr, yeah. Jesus Christ. My, oh my, it's getting fucking hot. Don't wear anything flammable. Well, I suspect this is bad. Yeah. Gonna say very bad. Gonna go out on a, a burned tree limb here and say really bad. I don't know why we're going to work. <laughs> like, why is he looking? Why is he looking for his husband? I mean, is he? It seems like he's just going to work, like you said. I mean, aren't you controlling him? Yeah, but I mean, there's not there's not exactly a variety of places to go. I mean, you could look in buildings and stuff, can't you? Oh, you can? I had no idea. I mean, we, we not really been, a lot there. We could have been doing that this entire time. Oh, no, I couldn't. Okay, well, maybe, maybe there isn't. <laughs> it's weird that you go into that little field, though. Yeah. It's like a play area, I think. Yeah, a very tiny one. You owe your community for raising you. For all its issues and problems and quirks, it is your home. I hoped we are done with this. If it asks you to pay, pay. If it asks you to leave, leave. If it asks you to carry a rifle, carry a rifle. So it should be no different to die for your community. Yes? Once we had the means to stop all this, but I have burned the paperwork to wrap up my tobacco. We remembered to bring much down here, but no rolling papers, so we must make do. Remember, I sacrifice, so it isn't it justified to do it in turn? You needing to use goddamn paper for your tobacco is very different to having somebody fucking hang themselves. Maybe he's using them as tobacco. I mean, they could. It did sound like he's stealing people. But that said, it probably wouldn't have a similar effect. Okay, I talked to this guy. Excuse me, did a man come by? Bald, paint spotted blouse. Shut up, I look like I've got time for small talk. Didn't mean to offend you. Offend? Who has time to be offended? Who has time for conversation? Did you know the mayor's office has been increased in funding to my department? It hasn't increased funding to my department in 50 years. How am I supposed to clean this alone? I suppose this explains the mess outside my window. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it, alright? Oh. Oh my god. Well, I guess you're not gonna get to it. <laughs> he seems remarkably calm about this. I guess at some point you might get, uh, oh, oh, look at her. She is absolutely manic. Yeah. <laughs> we get the gist of this, yeah? Uh, I will try my damnedest. I apologize if I fuck up. Go ahead. Ugh. <laughs> I was fucked up on the first word. Why, hi, my beautiful, handsome man, you. I hope you're finally ready to marry me. I've certainly waited long enough. I... 
Oh, ha ha ha, I can tell you're not interested. You're not interested, are you, right? It's cruel to leave a girl up. Dolores. Oh my, oh my, what a rude bastard you are. I've never had a man treat me like filth under his boots. Even my, uh, my ex-husband did me... Oh my god. Even my ex-husband did me more of a kindness than you did, you fucker. Dolores, what the hell are you talking about? Fancy a sick? What? No! Hey, my plants caught fire and turned to ash this morning. Isn't that just the wildest thing? And they aren't the only ones. Oh, me oh my. But I sure do hope the mayor has everything under control. Ha ha ha. You know, I've lived in this town for ages and all this isn't new. It's actually happened quite a few times. A few years ago, most of the town burned to death in a fire. So large it blotted out the sun and the sky turned ash black. It was like living in a crater in the deepest pits of hell. So deep you forgot hope, you forgot your dreams, you just wanted, prayed that the all-swallowing flames ate someone who wasn't you. Oh wow, she's really fucked up. Dolores, I need to get to my... Your store, of course, how rude of me, how rude of me, how rude of me. Look at her face. Yeah. Go, get out of here. Yeah, she has totally lost it. I mean... I understand why. It's getting bad. I mean, really bad. Sorry. The asphalt on the roads out of town swallowed up my producer's car an hour ago. Oh my god. No way out now. Hope you've got some way to keep cool. I don't. Wonderful. Oh my god. Well, at least it's evening now. Come on, you bastard. Deliver us. I said deliver us! God damn you! He wants the son to kill everyone? I don't know how much time we've got left. Or oh, is he talking to God? I don't know. Whatever. I suspect things are going to be even worse on the way back. Hey, at least it's a bit cooler though, right? Is it? I got the feeling nighttime here isn't great either. Because you get like hot and sticky nights yeah. in certain places, and it is like this all the time here. I'm surprised any of the trees are alive though, you know what I mean? Mm. Shouldn't it be like a desert? You would think so. Inconsistencies, baby. <laughs> in this fictional climate change Listen, video game. Leave them, leave them alone. Leave the game artists alone. They're doing their best. Uh, to be fair, I think this is a really good effort for what it is. They are burning. The mayor's office denies responsibility. Oh. I think he must know his husband's dead, surely, right? I mean, he might just be in a denial. There's no rivers around here. <sighs> <laughs> Come on, Bubba, that wasn't bad. Can I just say, this is a little thing. I admire an RPG Maker game that actually has perspective where I can walk behind stuff instead of this being solid. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. I never really think about that sort of thing. It really bothers me when they're solid. Oh, husband. Piotr, you're here. Of course, honey. Why wouldn't I be? This morning, a walk. I went on a walk. Usually you leave a note. I'm sorry I didn't today. It's... Have you felt alright lately? Of course. Why wouldn't I? You sure? Of course. You don't sound right. Well, I assure you I am. Let's go to bed. You clearly had a long day. Bed? It's only six. So what? Fine. Sure, let's go to bed. No one is okay. I think Anatoly is the only one who's playing. Yeah. I'm okay. Pyotr rose and went somewhere during the night. He'd never done it before. I wanted to call out. I wanted to stop him. But the thought of breaking the familiar silence of the night was more terrifying than his departure ever could have been. Oh my god. Okay. 
Are we melting? I think we're melting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is not a good time. And he's just acting like it's normal, look. Yeah. Oh, the trees are finally on fire. As are the houses. As is everything. Everything. Everything is, is burning. Oh, I didn't notice that. Had the little fountain been gradually drying up this entire time? Oh, that's interesting. That'd be cool if it did. But I don't know if it did. I just thought I saw it flowing at one point. Wow, that part got fucked up. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! The time swings soon. Sacrifice! Sacrifice! Why don't you do it? Or all will burn. You big bastard, you do it. You're in the leadership role of a... maybe town that is specifically burning. Which, now that I think about it, is the strangest thing. I don't think he's doing that good a job of leading them, to be honest with you. I mean, no. I said he was in a leadership position. I didn't say he was a good leader. If he was a good leader, he would have offed himself in this situation. Because I am assuming that the sun god needs a human sacrifice. I assume that's what the gallows are for. Oh, the guy on TV's burning. Yeah. I think Dolores is probably fucked too. Yep. You do not want to go here. Oh, okay. The way that phrased that was very disturbing. I should see Dolores. Um... Okay, Dolores, you've worn me down. Let's make a runaway wedding, huh? I can't help my roar. I can't. I need to open my store. Is he just losing it? Yeah. Hello, sir. A ticket. Well, I'd be delighted. Here at Prowler. Paralytus Terminal, we serve only those who really need to get away, and you look like the type. To coast oceans, deep seas, beyond, we help people finally see that there is an ocean beyond the waves. You got a ticket for the train. I need to deliver this one to the platform. Someone's about to miss their train. Oh yeah, we have fully we lost it. We have totally it. fucking lost it, because everyone is dead. Oh my fucking god. I guess a lot of people tried to leave, and it didn't work out. Your ticket, sir. You gave the ticket to the corpse. Good job. Oh, Jesus Christ. Time to go home. I'm sure Piotr is, is waiting. This is fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. But really good. Yeah. But I really like these short horror, horror story things. They're so good. Like, I feel a lot of horror is much more impactful if told in a short space of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not always. There are exceptions, obviously. I'm surprised we haven't combusted yet. I guess we got a lot of internal body fluid. <laughs> You owe your community for your livelihood, your job, your place of belonging. Giving back is not such a big step. To hang shall placate the flames. To deny is to secure inevitable annihilation in hungry fire. Oh, so they take people to sacrifice to the sun. Of course the flames will return. You will stop the heat for but a while. But surely it is worth it, isn't it? Do as you're told or burn together. What should we do? Mmm, burn together. Screw this guy. I'm not controlling this now. Oh, yes. A very angry sun god. Oh, look, it's the credits. Wait, no. That's cool. There you go. That's it. Oh, that's fun. Anyway, that was There Swings a Skull. 
I think we deserve. I think the world deserved it, really. I wonder what happens in the other ending. Yeah, it's a shame that it's uh, no saves. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, Numkins, and uh, we hope you enjoyed. First of all, let's know what you thought in the comment section below. Yes. Say something else. Continue the outro. We got to do this as a team. But what else is there? Twitch.tv slash Crankshaft if you want to watch us live. If you want to follow our Patreon and subscribe there, help us keep making videos. Patreon.com slash TV and our Twitter links are in the description. You can also commission art from Chrism Nomkin via the links in the description. No. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.